Alec Baldwin kicks off SNL <laughs> as Trump chugging a bottle of bleach. Welcome to Extra. He could have saved a little of the bleach to keep the hair blonde, but I'm Billy Bush. If there's one thing we all need right now, it's a bit of levity. This weekend was all about comedy. For the first time in a month, Alec was back on SNL and he brought his best Trump. And he slammed the president's controversial disinfectant comments. Oprah and Gail had a virtual get-together for a special edition of the OG Chronicles for O Magazine, where they revealed their celebrity quarantine wish list. Who would you choose? Bradley Cooper. Bradley and I are good friends, and we have really good conversations over text. I would yeah. choose The Rock if he wasn't married. But since he is married, that's a non-starter. But I told you about that interview I did with Maluma the other day. I found him so charming and so endearing. So I think quarantining with him would be great. Amanda Klutz just broke some great news about her husband, Broadway star Nick Cordero's battle with COVID-19. I asked him to look up and he did. And I asked him to look down and he did. Renee is good friends with Amanda. You just spoke to her. What did she say? She just said that the doctor confirmed that he is officially following commands, which is huge news. So he's awake. He's out of the coma. He's following commands. He can hear her. Yeah. That's great. Big. Gosh, he needed good news. And this is her first Mother's Day. They have a 10 month old? Yeah, they do. Elvis, what a oh. blessing. Dr. Dorian is here. Welcome back. New week. Here we go. Okay, a couple of White House staffers have gotten coronavirus, which, you know, tells you if you're not safe within the White House walls, where can you be? But maybe there's a, a message here the that me will help people. Yeah, yeah. The message is that this virus spares no one. It doesn't matter about your status, your socioeconomic status, your, your position in politics. The virus will infect whatever host it can reach. And even if you are in the White House, you have to social distance, you have to wear a mask, you have to wash your hands. Okay, we're also talking about a four drug cocktail. And one of them is a drug that treats MS. Is this something to get excited about? Uh, no, this is a, to get excited about, not so much for the MS medication, but the other three are all antiviral medications. And so let's take a step back. Remdesivir proved that medication can slow down the virus. So that was a huge thing. And just like in HIV, we, we had one discovery with one medication. So immediately what we do, now we look at cocktails. We try to bring three of the antiviral medications together and try to slow it down. This is going through the same natural path that HIV did with our kind of research and our medications. Is it the answer? No, but these are all steps. These are all ways we're gonna slow down this virus until we get the vaccine. Well, Dr. Dorian, uh, months ago when we started this endeavor, we were quite sure that we had the smartest, best doctor in the LA area with the last name Dorian. And now I'm not so sure as Governor Gavin Newsom has announced that Dr. Alina Dorian, your sister from UCLA, will be running California State's contact tracing program. How great is that? Yeah, how great is that? Even a pandemic, she had to trump me. I mean, there was no way I could get to a point where I could not live under the shadow of my own sister. Uh, she is the smartest person I know. She's a PhD from Hopkins. She's perfectly positioned for this type of uh, work. And you know what? Bottom line, I'm extremely proud of my sister. and. Uh, I take advice from her, and again, I will live in her shadow. Congrats, that's awesome. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.